Hello everyone, welcome back to my Kim Corner. So in today's video, we're doing question 11, question number 11.8 uh, from alcohols, phenols and ether. Uh, in this question, it says while separating a mixture of ortho and para nitrophenols by steam distillation, name the main isomer which will be steam volatile and give reasons. So before we move into how to solve this particular question, let's see the meaning of certain things. Here it says a mixture of ortho and para nitrophenol. Let's see the structures of it. So we have phenol. Alright, since we need both ortho and para nitrophenol, let's first draw both structures. Okay, so the first one is an orthophenol and this is a paraphenol. Para nitrophenol. So we have both of it. Now this is by this can be separated by steam distillation, which means you are doing distillation under using steam. Out of these two, you need to name which one is steam volatile and give reason. Now, when we say steam volatile, steam meaning you are trying to use water in form of gas. Volatile meaning you can vaporize it just with a steam. You don't need to heat it or something like that. Steam is more than enough to make the compound volatile. Now, out of these two, which one is more steam volatile? We need to give a reason for it. All right. So, before we move into how to, which one is a steam volatile, let's see the, uh, let's analyze the structure. Now, when you look at OH over here and NO2, in this case, when I try to expand the structure of NO2, so I'll just write here N, a single bond O with a negative charge and a double bond oxygen. Now, what happens over here is, these two are present at ortho positions to each other. So, there's a negative charge on oxygen and you have a hydrogen over here which is acidic. So, what will happen here is, your, there's a bonding that will take place. Because it is between a hydrogen and oxygen, definitely it is a hydrogen bonding. Alright, it is hydrogen bonding. But what sort of an hydrogen bonding? We have two types of hydrogen bonding. One is intramolecular, the other one is intermolecular. As the name says, intramolecular is within the molecule. Intermolecular is between two different molecules. So here, when you look at this, the bonding is taking place within the same molecule. So this particular one, the first one undergoes intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Whereas in the second case, these two, the OH and NO2 are far apart from each other. Therefore, if I'm having another, say in a beaker, okay, all right, in a beaker, I'm going to have paranitrophenol. I will also come in contact with another paranitrophenol, right? So in a beaker, when I'm having, definitely I will come in contact with another paranitrophenol. I'll just expand the structure over here. When I do that, I will get... This as my structure. Definitely I will have a hydrogen bonding here. So what happens here? Between two molecules. So therefore here you have this intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Alright. So in an orthonitrophenol, I am going to have intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Whereas in this case I am going to have intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Okay. Now. When I'm talking about this, I can tell that when I'm talking this with respect to, say, uh, which one is steam volatile, how can you when, you, when you try to separate them and all of that, I'm going to tell that orthonitrophenol is more volatile. All right, just right here, orthonitrophenol is more steam volatile. Alright, now why is that so? Because of its less stability. Alright, here in the intermolecular hydrogen bonding, what is happening? One molecule is bonded to the other and the other one is bonded to the other and so on. But in case of intramolecular, they just have that hydrogen bonding within the molecule. So it really, when it has to get steam volatile, it really doesn't have to break a hydrogen bonding with another molecule. Whereas when you do steam volatile in an intermolecular hydrogen bonding, this hydrogen bonding has to first break. Only then the steam volatile will take place. Right? 
But in case of intramolecular hydrogen bonding, that's not the case because the hydrogen bonding is within the molecule. This one molecule can easily become steam volatile and they can evaporate with steam. All right. So here the stability of a paranitrophenol is more stable when compared to orthonitrophenol. Because orthonitrophenol stability is the least, they can be steam volatile very easily.